Hello. Today we're going to show you how to use data validation in Excel and so restrictly values that you can uh, that a user can enter into a certain uh, specific specific cell. Okay? So we have a, a test spreadsheet here. We have a task uh, here where they're asking us to restrict the data entry in cell B5 to values S uh, uppercase S uppercase D lowercase S lowercase D. Okay? So let's go to this uh, spreadsheet. And this is uh, the cell B5, and we want to restrict the values to those which were given. Okay, so we go to data and data validation. The first tab uh, allows us to set the restrictions that we want. Um, allow whole numbers, decimals, dates, times, text length, custom values worth formulas. Uh, and we can use extra formulas there. Okay. Uh, in this case, as we have a set of values, going to select a list. We could ignore the blanks, uh, and we can allow the user. Uh, we can facilitate the, the entry using an in-cell dropdown or not. Okay, we will allow the, the dropdown here so that you can see what it uh, does. If we if we uh, uh, unmark this, then we won't get uh, the dropdown. Okay, so we will we'll do it right now. And here in source, we have to either select a source from the data, from the spreadsheet, or insert the values. Uh, and if we're going to insert the values, uh, which I'm going to do right now, uh, the entry depends on the type of computer you have. Uh, I've got a Spanish computer, even though it's in English. So I have to separate the values with a, a semicolon. Normally, um, you can separate values in an English keyword with a commas. Okay. So uppercase S, uppercase D, lowercase S, lowercase D. Okay. The next tab, input message, allows us to uh, create a message for uh, the user. So uh, restricted values, uh, only certain values are allowed. And then and the next one. This is, uh, we don't need to use a, an input uh, message. Uh, what we should always insert is an error alert, which is what happens if a non allowed value is inserted. Okay, so um, I'll just write error message uh, only the following values are allowed. SDSD. Okay, that's it. So now, if we click on the cell, we will re receive the the message that we um, that we entered in the second tab. Remember that we have uh, allowed here um, a drop down for the user to be able to select only those restricted uh, values. And if we do that, that's perfectly correct. And we'll see that if we don't, if we write, for example, any other value we will get the error message that we uh, inserted in the third tab, okay? So this is how to restrict the uh, values in, entered in a cell in Excel using data validation. 